So maths is a tool to describe the world. And in the world, we have these things called lines. Maybe that's a hill. So it'd be useful if we had something to describe that in mathematics. And we do. And that's a linear equation. Let's do it. Now, this is a linear equation. And it describes a linear graph. In particular, it describes this linear graph right here. This equation is this line. This equation is this line. This line is this equation. Now, I'm getting ahead of myself. I want to show you how to plot this using a table of values. So here's my table of values here. And I've got x values from negative 2 through to 2. Now, I want you to think of this equation as a box, a magic box that you can put values into and it spits values out. We're going to put x values in and it's going to spit y values out. All right, so let's try to put negative 2 into this box and see what it spits out. y is equal to 2 times negative 2 minus 4. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4, minus 4 is negative 8. So again, it's a box. We put negative 2 into it and it spat out negative 8. All right, we can put in negative 1, 0, 1, and 2 as well. So here I've put in negative 1. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. Minus 4 is negative 6. All right, let's do a couple more. y equals 2 times 0 minus 4. 2 times 0 is 0. Minus 4 is minus 4. Now, you should see a pattern emerging. You should guess at what the next number is going to be. y equals 2 times 1 minus 4. 2 minus 4 is minus 2. I hope you guessed that one correctly, and you should be able to guess what this next number is going to be as well. y equals 2 times 2, which is 4, minus 4, which is 4 minus 4, 0. All right, I'm not going to write it down there. I've run out of space. Great. Now, this is a linear graph. This is a linear equation, and this is always going to happen if you've got a linear equation, a nice, neat pattern. So if you know a couple of them, you can look at that difference and then you can figure out what the rest are going to be. So I've drawn a Cartesian uh, plane here, x-axis, y-axis, and now I'm going to plot these pairs of values. So negative 2, negative 8, negative 1, negative 6, 0, negative 4, 1, negative 2, and 2, 0. Now, before I get started plotting them, I need to consider how I should label up my axis. Now, the x values are pretty straightforward. They go from negative 2 to positive 2. The y values go from negative 8 down to 0. So I need to be really careful here that I can fit in uh, all the way down to negative 8. All right, so I'm going to draw eight uh, equally spaced lines here. So I've drawn some equally spaced lines here. I'm also going to have to draw equally spaced lines here. Now, I used 5 centimeters for the gap each time, so I'm going to use 5 centimeters for the gap each time on this side too. So now I'm going to label these up. Uh, this is the origin, 0. You don't have to write the word 0 here, uh, the number 0. This is 1, this is 2. This is negative 1, this is negative 2. And then this is negative 1, negative 2, all the way down to negative 8. Okay, and now we just get start, started plotting. Uh, negative 2, negative 8. So that is the point. I'll write it here. Negative 2, negative 8. So across first, negative 2, and then down to negative 8. That point right there. All right. The next point here, negative 1, negative 6. Negative 1, negative 6. That point right there. Next point, 0, negative 4. 0, negative 4. Next point, 1, negative 2. Next point, 2, 0. Okay, I have now plotted all of my points. Now, some teachers, have they like X's. Some teachers like little dots like this. I like to do something a bit weird. I like a dot with a circle around it. But X's, dots, dots with circles around them, they're all fine. Final step is to draw a line through these. And it should be a straight line because this is a linear graph, linear line, straight line. Now I've drawn a, uh, a line. You can see that it's like sort of off to the side a little bit of these. I don't have graph paper. If I did, it would be perfect. Now, lines go on forever. 
which means that we should extend this a little bit, we should extend this a little bit, and put two arrows on the end. And that is a linear graph. We could keep going on, we could put the arrow here, but these two arrows tell us it will go on forever and ever and ever. Now, uh, in the future, you're going to learn how to do this without being able to plot it like that. You'll be able to draw something a little bit like that, a little bit quicker. But for now, we are practicing with our magic box, putting in X values, spitting out Y values, and understanding that this linear equation and this linear line, they are the same thing, just written in different ways.